Nigel, two games into the Under-26 Nations Championships, two losses. Where do we stand at the moment in terms of the championship? Yeah, I think for us it's been, um, you know, disappointing in the in the outset, but I suppose more frustrating than, than um, you know, the disappointing when we look at, you know, how we played. Um, overall, I think, you know, the, the game we're trying to play has been positive, um, although it hasn't sort of reaped the rewards that we were hoping. Um, yeah, I think what we're learning is that mistakes are very, very costly, and, and, and that's what's happened in both games. Um, you know, in both games we scored first um, by trying to be positive. Um, again, uh, some cohesion, you know, let us down at times. But in, every time we scored, we seem to just let the opposition back in again. And um, so it's it's a tough school for these guys, and um, you know that, that's been the trend in the last two games. And I, you know, I think it, it's coming down to things like skills under pressure and. Uh, you know the intensity of the games and, and um, you know the physicality is for some guys it's a big step up. This is your second season in charge of the Ireland under 20s. Where do we stand at this age grade now in comparison to to the other countries in the Six Nations? Yeah, look at I think we're um, we're making progress and uh, I think you know for us every game is an opportunity and, and yeah we, we do look at it, it is one game at a time approach. I think we we go in feeling that we can win every game however uh, the reality is I think we're probably 18 months and in some cases two years behind some of the others in terms of their physical development and um, you know I think we do punch above our weight for periods of the game but I think it's just consistency and, and uh, trying to sustain that for the full duration is uh, is our challenge and you know once guys get start to fatigue the skills start to go with that and um, you know, so for us, I think it's strategically to look at, you know, um, you know, the developing pathway and, you know, the the early intervention um, with with skill development, physical development can only improve um, sort of certainly the outcome at this stage. And you, you see guys who go on to the professional ranks, um, even guys like Ulton Delan, who's on the, you know, on the Irish squad at the moment. He's still only 22, but that that two years is is massive for the Irish player. Um, and, and that's maybe how we're a little bit behind the others at the moment. So are, are the likes of the Welsh and the French, are they ring fencing players at an earlier age and, and, and working with them from a younger age? Yeah, that seems to be the, you know, their plan is to identify them as early as possible and, and you know, to apply the, the relevant resources um, to them. So both physically and, and sort of technically, um, they're a little bit more ahead of, of where our guys are at the moment. So just your messaging then to the players for the rest of the championship? Yeah, for us, it's you know, uh, it's trying to be positive. Um, what we believe, what we're trying to do, is is the right thing. Uh, the way we're trying to play is positive. Um, and again, it's it's just accuracy. If we can play with the tempo and the intensity and the physicality that we're trying to do, try to be consistent with that. But try to be accurate uh, in, in doing so. And you know, the, the least amount of mistakes that we can cough up, the more pressure we're going to put on the opposition. The more pressure, the, the less likely they'll score. And in terms of, of, of England, where do they stand in relation to, say, the French and the Welsh? Yeah, well, the English are, you know, I mean, they're, they're probably, in terms of physically, they're, they're one of the bigger sides in it, and traditionally they usually are. Um, but they suffered the, their first loss against Scotland in the first game, and, you know, they had a bit of an easy route against Italy uh, two weeks ago. So we hope that they underestimate us, um, you know, that when they look at us, they, you know, they'll see it as another opportunity, and, and hopefully we'll just catch them on the hop.